Good afternoon, MMTs and our worldwide traders. I have the NASDAQ composite right here right now. And as we said, this is the best pullback that we've had. I want you to know that the NASDAQ is oversold, the S&P is oversold, and the Dow is oversold. We are in earnings season. That 200-day simple moving average was 4,300 on the composite. That's that green line. You can see down here that a number of stocks in the NASDAQ 100 and the NASDAQ comp are just as oversold. So we're going to be due for a very nice bounce. And October is playing its course. Um, so the um, NASDAQ composite, so you know, was down 62 points along with the NASDAQ 100 at 3808. And I'll show that in a minute. Right now, that's a complete breach. We've got support levels that come down here to 4,100. That would be ideal. But in the short term, we're going to have a bounce. Um, that's a lot of selling. That's, this is the NASDAQ composite. Now let's go to the NASDAQ 100. NASDAQ 100 was way up here at 41. And it broke that 100-day simple moving average. I want everyone to know right now in that NASDAQ 100, the 200-day simple moving average is 37.62. Therefore, we're going to see how well it would come down or get awfully close to it. Like I said, none of these indexes have been testing their 200-day moving averages forever because that is the case here. So NASDAQ composite, NASDAQ 100, NASDAQ 100 has not touched the 200-day um, simple moving average. NASDAQ composite, as you can see here, we broke clean through it right now. And therefore, we're oversold on all indexes so people know.